What's good, YTBC and W Piper? Hey, special shout out to all of you guys out there and gals that were uh, praying and lifting up good thoughts to Father John. Guess what? He's well. All is good. Um, as you guys know, this morning uh, contacted me early this morning with um, a, a request just asking us to come together for prayer over him and his family you know he had uh, his grandbabies over and they weren't feeling well and and father john got sick and his wife got sick and i just got off the phone with them and we had a wonderful conversation about what was going on and so he went in to uh, get x-rays on his chest for pneumonia and had some tests for covid because for some of you guys you may not know last year father john had gotten covid and um, got really messed up with that. And uh, now we were worried about, was this COVID? Did he, did he catch this variant? What was going on? But good news, you guys, he's well. He's not feeling good, but he's on the mend. And also his wife is uh, sick as well, but thank God it's not COVID and they're gonna be all right. And he wanted me to uh, just really send a message out to you guys of his appreciation, his gratitude, his thankfulness to the YTPC for everybody coming together on his behalf. Um, as we were talking, he uh, he just really conveyed his um, gratitude and, and just a spirit of humility and, and humbleness to you guys that he is humbled by your prayers and thoughts and, and kind gestures to him. And he wanted me to personally thank each and every one of you guys how much, uh, how, how grateful he is for our community and express the uniqueness of our community, how we come together on each other's behalf when there's a problem, there's an issue. And whether, you know, we can't fix each other's problems all the time, but we can come together and uh, with conversation and communication and prayer and thoughts and he wanted me to express his thankfulness to you for that. So thank you guys. Uh, and on a, on a lighter note, hey, let's get back to something kind of light and fun. Last few posts and, and things have been a bit tense and heated. Let's get back to something kind of cool and fun. Let's look at a tobacco tonight by GLP's Regents Flake. And uh, what we got here, beautiful mahogany mahogany flakes in there. I've got a Martin acoustic guitar and uh, N.W. Piper knows how to, you know, bang a couple strings around a little bit here and there. And my guitar looks just like that mahogany right in here. Now what you're seeing there is a beautiful mixture of Virginia's, which consists of red and bright Virginia's as well as Perique and Oriental. So, oh, let me get you guys a 10 note. So, as you can imagine, with uh, what's typical with uh, Red Virginias, Bright Virginias, is that um, you're gonna get that grassy hay note um, with sweetness and tartness and tanginess because the bright Virginias are going to offer you that uh, that tartness and sweetness. Those red Virginias are going to give you that tang because that's their thing. And then we've got some dark fruit going on. So whenever we talk about dark fruit around here, we're talking about figs, raisins, dates, stuff like that. And uh, let's get into it and see how it chooches up. been chooching on this for a minute and uh, what you're gonna get with this is um, those uh, red Virginias still are gonna offer us up some tang I appreciate that I love that tang in red Virginias as well we're gonna get tang we're gonna also get that tartness from the bright Virginias with sweetness going. Now, 
<clears throat> Here's the interesting thing about that Puri. It's offering up um, some really multi, mulchy earthiness going on with that dark fruit when you're smoking it. Barley, malty type of vibe going on, yet not alcoholic, alcoholish type of a thing. But uh, it's definitely earthy. And uh, if you're into that, then you're going to really like this. But then the Orientals are coming in as well, and they're giving a dry note. Now, typically with Perique, we think of spice, and there's some spice on this, not heavy. It's primarily shining through in these dark fruits, but, and, and this earthy, mulchy, multi vibe thing going on. You like that? Mulchy, multi, earthiness? If you do, you're gonna like that. But this, this Oriental comes in with that dry note, you guys, and there's something, I don't know if it's the Perique messing up these Orientals or these Orientals that are actually messing up uh, the Perique because something's not jiving with me on this one, you guys. I'm not sure what it is. It's good. But for me, it's not seller good. For me, it's not selling a kidney good. It's um, it's okay. I wouldn't put this up there in my top five GLPs blends. On the aftertaste, you're getting some pepper note in there from that Perique. Not a lot, but it's there. Towards the lower half end of the bowl. As you guys can see, um, I'm just over halfway with that uh, on the bowl. So with that, that Perique start, starts offering up some pepperness on the aftertaste. So what do we got? We got some earthy, mulchy, tangy hay with a dry note. Pretty good. So I'm just saying that I don't think this would be something for me to go out and when I see it on sale for you know, seven bucks, I'm gonna go crazy and order 15 tens. I'm gonna smoke this and then I'm gonna call it good. But it's definitely worth trying if you want, if you're into that um, earthy dry notes, then you'll you'll dig this. This will be your this will be your thing. But other than that, you guys, it's uh it's good, but it's not worth it for me to stock up. That's just my thoughts on it. This might be your to-go-to blend, but for NW Piper, I'm gonna have to pass on, on this one. Uh, so, I don't know, one out of 10, I'm gonna give this one a strong four. Strong four, maybe a five, you know, a low five. So, take it for what it's worth on that. Thank you guys so much for your support and uh, all of your, your friendships and getting to know each other. Also, don't, don't forget, get to know the comments down, the, the subscribers and the comments, you guys, because that's where the knowledge is, that's where the wisdom is, and uh, that's where I learn from, is from all of you. Get to know each other, share some love. Hey, let's push love, and let's see what happens with that, right? God bless you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.